19 showed that a dust storm stretching over an area of 150 miles from extreme southwest Oklahoma across the panhandle of Texas around Lubbock, the eastern um, New Mexico, was shown by the National Weather Service. And uh, here's what one person said. I definitely think these dust storms will become more common until we get more measurable precipitation. The Great Plains is a flat, semi-arid area with few trees where vast herds of buffalo once thrived on native grasses. Settlers plowed up most of the grassland in the late 19th, early 20th centuries to create the wheat-growing breadbasket of the United States. Encouraged by high commodity prices and free homestead land from the government, the era known as the Dirty Thirties, chronicled by Ken Burns in a PBS documentary there in November, as well as 1930s drought, gripped the Great Plains and winds carried away exposed soil mass of dust clouds. Bill Fitzgerald, 87, a farmer near Sublet, Kansas, remembers Black Sunday on April 14, 1935, when a clear sunny day in southwest Kansas turned black as night by mid-afternoon because of a massive cloud of dust that swept from Nebraska to the Texas Panhandle. He says, my older brother and I were in my dad's Chevy truck a mile north and a mile west of our house, and we saw it rolling in. 